Hello, everybody. Um, hopefully my mic is working. Hold on. Hello, hello. Okay, yes. Um, let's see if I rev my semi. Okay. Um, let me stall it real quick. Sorry if it's uh, loud. I uh, might be loud. My voice might be loud. Just, just be aware. You might have to, uh, you know, just adjust your uh, your headset volume. But um, wish I could show you guys. I'll make it my um, my thumbnail. Have my stream on my shifter and my thing in. But I haven't ever gotten to put my um, steering wheel with my shifter up to American Truck Simulator. I've never figured out how to do it. And that's what YouTube's for. You look up, you look up on YouTube, and I now know what to do whenever I'm hooking up my steering wheel to American Truck Simulator. If you guys want a video on it, please comment down below, like the video, make sure you subscribe. Um, but anyways, like I said, first gear uh, is first, second gear for my shifter is fourth. You go to third, it's seventh. You go to fourth, it's tenth. You go to fifth, it's thirteenth. And you go to sixth, and it's sixteenth. So, um, I, I think it was the splitter. That I, how I had it set up like that. But anyways, let's get on the road. Got my steering wheel. Make sure got buttons I just click. It's pretty slow, but just don't mind it. I know I'm not professional, and I know I probably shouldn't be speeding up like that. And I know I'm going probably way too fast, but there's a little loop. Um, so, if you hit, what was it? Oh, it resets your trip odometer for a keyboard. So that's pretty nice. Well, I actually had to set mine, because it's I to go through and then O to um, change it. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going through my... Um, settings on it, and it says like I and O, and you, you know they're close together. Might as well. Um, this this max is I think I've got this semi to go 81 before downhill. Um, but yeah, I just you know nice easy steering wheel. It's a little tense at high speeds because I have the Thrustmaster T4 T40. T248 or T248 um, steering wheel. The, one of the Thrustmasters new. It's nice and leather wrapped and you know it's got the Thrustmaster logo. And I also got my Thrustmaster shifter with it. Um, I probably should not be speeding. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys a quick little video um, that this. I got my steering wheel and everything hooked up to it. Um, I'm using my mouse because it's just faster. You can start out in some of these gears, but yeah, this this is a Kenworth, I think. Yeah, this is because I have yeah, no the Peterbilt. My other one's a Kenworth. I have some that looks identical to this one. And I sometimes get them mixed up. But my other one, just the only thing is, this is the low roof, and my other one's not a low roof. Set the cruise to 60. It seems about right. I was going like 80. Um, but yeah, just, um, they look identical, just different paint job, um, and that has a high roof. Other than that, they look, like, pretty much identical to each other. Um, that's the only reason why I got that next up, but, yeah, I'd show you guys our other semi. I'd probably do a job in this semi, and I'll hop over to my other semi, which I just bought. Um, well, I just bought and put a thousand miles on it, and then, like, I just bought this one, like, a little bit before that. Oh, pass this guy. He's slow. Um, but, yeah, and I bought this one before, and then I would say, like, I put, oh, I forgot to slow back down. Um, I put, like, 1,700 miles on this one, and then I got my other one, I put a thousand on that one. Which takes like a couple hours in real life. So if you think about it, I drove this one for a couple hours. I drove the other one for a couple hours, and you know, called it good. Cause so I'm gonna start driving this one now. For I actually flipped the other one. I haven't gotten it fixed yet. So um, 
Yeah, that's the only thing that sucks is, um, I have to use this one now. I, I think I like this. I think I like the other one's interior better, but I like the look of the outside on this one better. Um, but yeah, I guess that's all I have for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and the bell for post notifications. And, um, yeah, this is how I, uh, how I shut off is... I have my clutch pedal, so you take your foot off the brake, you take your foot off the clutch, and it just stalls. Because my uh, I set the button to start it, but it doesn't work, and then to restart it, you always put your foot on the clutch, and then you can just, like, slam on the gas, and it will start back up. So, I have it there, and it shuts down, hit on the gas, oh, hit on the gas, and it starts back up. So, yeah, that's how I have to shut off and turn on my semi, but, uh... <laughs> Anyways, if you guys enjoyed, if you did, blah, blah, blah. hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and bell, post notifications. Um, yeah, I guess we'll see you guys next time on Wade Farms.